Good morning everyone and welcome to Suffolk Hobbit. This is part one of my Dark Elder uh, to be video log, blog, blog, what do you want to call it? Um, I've pre-assembled five Dark Elder Cabalite Warriors. Uh, awesome kit, really really cool. I decided to go with the Cabalite Warriors first as they're the box head infantry. I can sort of experiment with them, do some different paint and styles with them and things. Uh, I personally want to come up with like an orange paint scheme for them. Make them yeah, really pop. Almost give them like an evil Halloween esque sort of uh, look to them. Um, but build them just as I say. Got five built, undercoated, all nice and black, all covered, all brilliant, really, really good. But the mod, the kit itself is fantastic, really, really good. Loads of detail. Um, one word of warning uh, for anyone new to building Cabalite Warriors you need to dry run the box with everything you must do really, always recommend it, always dry run all the parts, make sure they all fit together nicely, make sure they're nice and filed and cleaned but with the Cabalot Warriors there's a few parts where they have like a equipment pack um, to their lower back and you need to make sure, just have a quick dry run of pushing them into the leg torso area because some of them seem to fit only certain types of leg stances so you could end up with a situation if you sort of glued one that you thought sort of fitted you might then not be able to glue the next legs because you've put the wrong piece on. There's a bit of a squeeze. You've got to make sure that they definitely, definitely, definitely fit. And but having said that, very straightforward kit. Really, really good. Really, 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 really good. God say that. Um, I'm going to, uh, as I go for the orange scheme. Um, right, now, let's turn you around. Come with me. And then you can see. Ta da! Cab Light Warriors. Here we go. So. Got this guy sort of got in a dynamic pose. I've tried to make it look like he's turning around to face the enemy and he's bringing his gun to bear. Got a nice open pose, really pleased with that. Uh, got another one here. Looks like he's sort of turning around and firing as he's turning, attacking the enemy. And I've got a couple of more sort of standard, normal Dark Elder brooding evil poses. Got the next must have coffee. It is roughly uh, quarter to six in the morning. I wanted to get a good start on this, so hazelnut flavoured coffee is a must. Got me water, got my paints there. I'm going to try some Troll Slayer Orange, Jogero Orange. I've even still got the old Bolt Gun Metal. It's dried up a little bit, but still works fine. A bit of water mixed with it, absolutely fine. A few other colours there just to sort of work with. Mixing pot, a few paints, a few uh, paint brushes, sorry. And last but not least, I really recommend this. Everyone should have one of them. Mainly because, you know, it's quite dark in here. The light's almost not that great. You should always get some sort of light. Uh, torch to a little table or anything you want really, but just something extra really boost because you can't go and hurt your eyes. You know, strain to see the details and the darks and stuff. I do recommend, I mean, I bought that lamp for about five pounds, five, six quid from my boss. Um, and my lovely wife bought it for me, actually. But, uh, yeah, five or six pounds is all you need. Just an extra, just a little bit brighter, just to help sort of see what you're doing. Because if not, it can hurt your eyes. And yeah, that's one thing I do recommend. Um, what I want to do is sort of keep going back and forth. I was doing this video now, up, updating on uh, me painting these Cabalite Warriors. <coughs> so hopefully, next time you see them, they should be looking uh, much, much cooler. So, see you in a bit. Watch this space. Hello, uh, guys. Well, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes since my last. Uh, Part of this video, um, I just did a little stock through. I spent quite a while mixing the paint colours up. I just want to go for this orange effect, give the dark hair a lot of deliberate, sinister, evil Halloween sort of thing. To them. And I've done all the basic layers of the metal and for the guns and a few other bits of chain and spikes that are hanging off them. Uh, but I just thought to stop me painting for the second, give my hands a bit of rest, and uh, show you what I've got so far. So, here we are. Just the th first three done so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Just got a basic orange. First layer. It's been done. Really, really, really pleased with them. Need a bit of tidying up. This is only sort of the rough basic layer. But uh, really, really pleased with them. Cut really well. They really, really pop. Um, I've used a mix of Mephiston Red and uh, Troll Slayer Orange to blend together to get the basic level. The next highlight will be using just this. Final highlight will probably be a bit uh, white, it's cold white, mixed up with this, uh, just to give it a real big zing. But uh, overall, really pleased. I've got two more. 
brilliant little models, just on a basic bit of a, well, what I'm still using is bolt gun metal uh, for the metal hearts and the uh, gun barrels and a few other chains and stuff, but yeah, keep you posted guys on the next stage of progress. Okay guys, and here we are, it's been three hours now, uh, it's taken a long, 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 long time to do them, but they've been totally worth it, uh, it's been really, really good fun. They're so detailed. I've got a bit of a learning curve because I've been used to painting uh, well, fantasy for, uh, figures for the last few months, sort of almost a year really to be honest. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Saga, uh, you name it, I've been painting. Mantic, Dwarf Army I've been working on. So getting into sci-fi style stuff and sci-fi style armors, well, you wouldn't think there's much difference, but Dark Elder, because the way their highlights seem to be mainly the edges of the armor, from what I can tell, and looking at other people's works on Google Images and things, the most time consuming part of this was creating the mix for the orange, doing the what the, the the orange that I like the most of then what I've made, uh, and then using that to actually edge with took the longest amount of time. I've had to use my well, I, was, I think I've said before, but the finest brush I had, one of the more expensive Citadel brushes, but it is awesome. I recommend it. It is the what does it say? Uh, the Art Artificer Artificia layer, something like that. This one. See it, can't quite see it, but the, the finest one is the best one. I recommend it, I really, really, it's really, really good. Um, <clears throat> but I've done all the orange, I've then used blue as a contrast color for their uh, cloth or skin sort of segments that uh, hang down uh, for the eyes and for their motifs and little sort of Egyptian look looking highlights on their uh, helmets and on their forearm armor. And finally, use a little bit of what I still use. I've still got the, still got the paints, believe it or not, Dark Angels Green. Um, use that for the poison canisters, little tubes that are sat on their back. <coughs> uh, I'm going to call it a day for now. As I spent three hours, so I'm thoroughly spent now doing that. But the next point will be to use the get the guns highlighted up, and I've kept them black. Um, going to use a very slight highlight on the black, just to sort of brighten up the guns a bit, and use the metal, use the uh, ring fang steel to probably just brighten up the highlight for the silver elements of the metal of the guns. I'm going to work a bit more on trying to make a glow on their helmets and also for the back and for just the little extra equipment bits that these guys have I'm going to work on maybe different shades of orange and stuff but the plan is to use a contrasting softer coloured orange which is the Chokairo, Chokairo? is it orange? this one Chokairo orange I'm going to use that as the as their little daggers uh, scabbard colour, so still keen with the orange theme I want for this dark Ang uh, dark elder army, but uh, different shades uh, makes it poppy sort of. You're looking at them, oh, it's really dark, really brooding turn around. There's this contrast and orange colours popping out there. Uh, it should look really smart, but um, I'll just get turn the camera in so you can see them better. Here we are. I've got this face in me, so I'm having to see what I'm doing looking at them as well. But here we go. There's the camera. There it is. So there's one. They're still a little bit untidy. Still to work on them a tiny bit more. But I'm very, 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 very pleased with them. I've got just one standard layer of orange at the moment. It's about six layers of blue working up bit by bit. I'm going to use simple just skull white or something. Ceramite white even, sorry. Just to add the little bone colours on there. Work on this guy here, etc. And then on the back... I don't know if you can see it, not quite focusing very well, but there is a lovely uh, highlight of Dark Angels Green, more in blue. Uh, the rifles, the little splinter rifles, I've used the blue um, on the little power chamber, the, you know, whatever it is that you want to call that there. Um, yeah, really, really pleasing, really, really pleased, really, really good. Um, like I say, this is the first video log I'm going to be doing of these Dark Angels. Dark Angels. Dark Elder, I'll get that eventually, Dark Elder, Dark Elder. Um, get these five finished off, I'll do a quick video just to show you their, how they look completed. I'll do the next five. The plan is I'm going to use the leader of the squadron as uh, I'm going to use it all orange. So he's not going to be blacker than orange highlight, he's going to be all orange with high, brighter and higher shades of orange to really make him pop. I'll do the same with the Archon, um, maybe even with the Incubi. I know the Incubi is an army where they've used the uh, bone like type paint colour colour scheme. I might do some of the inky by maybe give them a real light orange colour or something to make them really really different, really unique, really really masterful. 
or if not keep them really really dark even darker than these guys uh, but we'll see we'll see how it goes but thanks for watching guys uh, like comment subscribe send any comments uh, questions chats anything you want to do any tips advice um, anything like that at all uh, many thanks for watching awesome take care guys rock and roll